Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is November 5th, 2016, and the evidence just keeps pouring in. This video was sent to us by one of our loyal subscribers, and as you can clearly see, this is a very large planet. This is not Venus. This is not Mars. This is not the moon. This planet was photographed in New Wales, Australia, and photographs were previewed on Steve Olson's channel, WSO, earlier this afternoon. This video was sent in by one of our subscribers, and I will be sharing this video with Steve so he can share it with his subscribers. Folks, the evidence that is coming in is irrefutable. It's coming in minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day. And I understand that this video footage is a little grainy and a little shaky. However, if you are able to videotape a planet from standing on Earth with just a regular video camera, well, that's only telling me one thing. This planet is close enough for this video camera and this person to capture this footage. And once again, this evidence is irrefutable. It's time for the naysayers to start to believe. Now, earlier today, we also received more photographs from one of our subscribers in Australia that clearly photographed the blue Kachina once again. And it seems to us that there's a possibility that Nibiru or Planet X has moved back into the Southern Hemisphere or its orbit is taking it through the Southern Hemisphere of the Earth because we are getting a lot of photographs once again that are coming in from Australia, New Zealand. I had a few photographs that came in today from South Africa. And once again, folks, you can just look at the pictures. Yes, you might see a lens flare in some of the pictures, but you're also clearly seeing a planet. The blue Kachina is what you're looking at. There's no doubt in my mind. Now, one of our subscribers took a few photographs and he diagrammed these photographs showing you the artificial sun simulator and how these planets are cloaked and how he saw them when he took these photographs. Now, he clearly diagrammed these photographs and sent them to me. He was obviously using some type of filter on his camera when he took these photographs. And these photographs are absolutely incredible. There's no doubt these are not lens flares. This individual obviously knows a lot about photography and taking photographs. And I thank him very much for sending these photos into the Nibiru channel. Now, the photographs that you're about to view were sent in again by one of our subscribers, clearly depicting a planet below and off to the side of the moon. Once again, these photographs are irrefutable evidence that there are other heavenly bodies in our skies. No one is telling us about them. We have no reports from NASA or our governments on what these planets are and where they came from. And that is why we do the investigations and the research work that we do. We feel that we deserve the right to know and understand what is happening above us in our skies, not the skies of the elite. The world belongs to humanity. And this is why we keep on searching. Now, the video you're looking at now, I captured from a station in the South Pole, clearly showing them firing a green laser up into the sky towards the sun. I just took this footage today. It's time lapsed 
from an Australian observatory on the South Pole. Why are they firing a green laser into the sky towards the sun? What are they doing? Is it part of a cloaking device? Are they using lasers to hide these planets? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Another set of photographs sent in to us today by one of our subscribers, clearly showing this green planet, and this was captured by the International Space Station floating above Mother Earth. So once again, folks, the evidence is irrefutable. We have other planetary bodies in our skies. And with that said, I'd like to thank all of our loyal subscribers. You guys are fantastic. And we greatly appreciate all of your participation. would also like to remind you to continue to subscribe to the Nibiru channel. Make sure you share all of our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook and on Twitter. And continue to email your photographs and videos to Nibiru Planet X 2016 at gmail.com. This participation from all of our subscribers is very important. We also urge you to come back to the Nibiru channel every day on YouTube for daily updates. We're not sure at the moment if our videos are being filtered or censored. So come back to our channel once a day or twice a day. Maybe make a bookmark or create a direct link and come to our channel. And I want to remind you, always keep an eye in the sky.